the next command that needs to be covered is get commit. And so when you're creating a commit, you are creating a save point or a snapshot of your files uh, that you've added to the staging area. These two files are added to the staging area uh, in their current condition. And so the command git commit minus m for a miss uh, message. And so I'm going to add an initial commit as my message. And so this will create uh, a unique ID for this commit. And you'll notice that my files are now reset into uh, normal color here and they, they lost the a status. I can do a uh, git status to see we are now on the, the default uh, master branch and we have nothing to commit and a, uh, you know, a clean working tree. If I were to make a change then, added useful text, and save that, you'll see that my demo.txt is now in a modified state. And so if I were to create another commit, uh, these two commits can perform what's called a diff and you know basically tell you the difference between those files in those two states. Now we could do a git add command to add uh, demo.txt, but often a shortcut uh, instead of doing two commands, you could do a git commit uh, minus a that's going to add all of the files uh, into the staging area that need to be added uh, that are in that m state. And we'll do a message of um, useful text added. It's also worth noting that a lot of companies are very particular about their commit messages. You know, sometimes. Uh, they are looking for a lot of detail in your commit messages so that you know what's changing in your source code. And the big advantage of having many commits is that you can roll forwards and roll backwards your source code. And so if you introduce a bug, uh, you can roll back into a previous state of working code. And so creating many commits uh, is a good practice to have many commits and very useful commit messages. Again, some companies are very strict about what they expect to see in that commit message. Now, if I uh, run that command, again, what we did is we added all the files to the staging area that had a change, and then we gave it a commit message at the same time.